A major development kept quiet for years is finally open and underway. SpaceX has announced it is building its first private rocket launch facility right here in the Rio Grande Valley. Channel 5's Erica Proffer is taking a closer look into what this means for our area. Okay, first, Erica, tell us why did you want to like, dive into this project? Yeah, because this is a big project. You know, we felt that we owed it to the viewers to give a comprehensive look at SpaceX. You know, it's important to know what it took to get here, mm -hmm. what it means for this area. And really, both sides of this, those who are for and against, are very passionate about this issue. Okay, so you've been doing some research, lots of work been out there. Tell us, what did you find? We, well, we found a lot of information. Okay. First, the timeline goes a lot further back than our first story. What we found out was SpaceX was first inquiring about this area all the way back in 2010. It wasn't until the spring of 2012, though, Cameron County leaders found out that this area was on that short list of places to consider. But there were still a lot of hurdles. SpaceX needed land. Cameron County had to make sure things would be built, like water infrastructure. Then in 2013, things started to move along. The FAA gave that first approval, saying the environment will not be impacted. Then over the next year, U.S. Fish and Wildlife agreed. Then the FAA gave their final approval. And last September is when they actually broke ground on the facility, and we were there for that. Of course we were. Okay, okay. tell us about this map. What are we looking at here? So this is the map of the area, and what we're looking at is one of the biggest hurdles that this project faced. This is the closures that we're talking mm -hmm. about when we're talking about SpaceX launches. Keep in mind, Boca Chica Beach is a public road. So all of this is a public road, and then, of course, Boca Chica Beach is a public entity. So they had to change state law in order for this to be even possible for a private for-profit company to close down beach access. And this closure may be extended as far back, and you know, this is sort of the proposed area, we're talking five miles. Okay, can we see development? You were there last night. Can we see development right now? Going we were on there. So, so this is where the launch site is. There was a little bitty star, and this is what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. This video is, was actually shot a couple of weeks ago. We did go back there last night just to see if there were anything that was, had changed. Nothing apparent has developed at this launch pad site. What we did see was some basic fencing here, and this right. is a couple of miles up the road. They call this place an office site. Okay, but this is also very near a neighborhood, huh? Yeah, it, yeah. it exactly is. So what, what I showed you was here, and then we talked about a little bit of the fencing. Well, this blue dot here is a neighborhood. This is Boca Chica Village. Most of the folks there are winter Texans. We're talking 30 or so people. A few people live there year round. But Bonnie and Terry Heaton is one, are one of the couples that we found that live year round down there. You know, they tell us they're not happy that the rockets are going to be launched from their area because they really like this seclusion that they have over here. Okay, clearly, you know, you're, you're, you're going to hear both sides of this story. And of course, all this is going to be in your report tonight. Plus, we have our chief meteorologist, Tim Smith, in Florida right now to tell us more about SpaceX a little bit later today. Yeah, we're planning a live shot with Tim at the 6 and the 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's really exciting. What's interesting about the Florida part is when we look at Florida, this is what it could be like for our area. I mean, granted, Florida is a NASA facility. It's been around for years. But SpaceX launches rockets from there right now. And they carry things to the space station. They send satellites up for the companies. They already have a history of launching rockets. So it's not a deep history that SpaceX has, but Tim can give us an, a, a, a brief glimpse into what they're doing, what they're doing in Florida, and how that area is similar to our just area. a little glimpse into our future here. We can look at our future Thank just you, by looking Erica. at Florida. Absolutely. And I know people say, oh, we've heard of SpaceX. Now we know exactly what we're going to be doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We look forward to all of that, and we hope that you won't miss our special report, SpaceX Explored, that airs tonight on Channel 5.